to know And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my thoughts keep telling me to let me out just let me... How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome back to Road to Power, a German Road to Glory series. Now last time we had a choice between Alexander Eswein or Inform Leonardo Bittencourt and you guys chose Eswein. You completely surprised me. I thought you would have went with the Inform but no. Eswein completely blew him out of the water, outnumbering 4 to 1 in our comment section below. So he comes in, hopefully he will be good, and he has to be against this squad. He's got Legend Effenberg over on that right hand side, our left. So hopefully we can get the victory, and very early on, Risa signals our intent, taking on that left back, whipping it into the near post. Who else? Malapa heads it and we crash it off the post. So we don't take the lead, but it didn't take us long. Malapa comes forward, outpowers Gunter, takes him one, puts it in the bottom corner. Thank you very much, 1-0. But I got too cocky. And when you've got lag, don't piss about at the back. Why didn't I tell myself that before I did concede that goal? That was shocking from me. As you know, I like to pass it about, I like to mix it up, I like to skill, I like to basically do everything that FIFA allows you to do and put it all into one. And at that moment, I completely fucked up. I completely fucked up. And I did towards the end as well. I tried to block the shot and it just was in vain. A terrible decision from me. I should have went to him, but in the end, we do get the victory on penalties after a boring extra time. The extra time was the boringest thing I've ever seen, if boringest is a word. Now we get to upgrade after the 6-4 overall victory. It's going to be Mai that's going out. I think the other Cam, I think it's Pladell. I think he's much better in terms of being a Cam. So out comes Maya, in comes Trichovsky. He has a 5-star weak foot and 4-star skills. So hopefully he will give us an extra edge in our game. So this team's starting to kind of shape up now and our next opponent has a just a pretty standard silver squad and I was looking at that squad comparing it with the previous squad and I thought we've got a good chance here and very early on Esfine with the shot, great save, Malapa with the shot, great save, Trichowski with the shot, 1-0, 3 minutes in, it didn't take them long to get amongst the scorers and the fans were not pleased whatsoever, they're just staring at them. And we do take a 2 goal lead just before half time, Malapa with another goal, that guy is on fire for me. And towards the end of this episode he will score a lot more. Now very early on in the second half we do concede and I do capitulate completely once that goal went in. This guy kind of got momentum, I couldn't do anything once I conceded. Then in the final minute, what? the hell is Ziegler doing there? I couldn't do anything. I tried to go to the player. It wouldn't let me. It flew past him. And I take a 3-2 defeat. Completely my fault. I should have closed out the game at 2-0. I don't know what I was doing, lads. I really don't know what I was doing. So my next opponent has this kind of sweaty BPL squad. With all the pace up front that you can think of. Sturridge, Sterling, etc, etc. Walcott on the right. That did my head in. So I thought, I'm going to Malapa you. So after going 1-0 down. Malapa turned on the style. He made it 1-1 before we come forward again. Who else? Malapa. He keeps the ball. He takes on his opponent multiple times, making a fool out of him, cutting inside and scoring to make it 2-1 11 minutes into the game. We are in complete control and Malapa is completely dominating. And if that goal had gone in, my god, Esvine. That would have been sensational. Before my opponent comes forward, Remy chips it to Sterling, who scores a header to make it 2-2. That was good at that point. But in the second half, we come forward yet again, and it is Malapa who wins a penalty. Now, lads, that's a Stormwall penalty. But tell me how this is not a red card. If that's not last man, I don't know what is. But anyways, we'll step up. We'll take the penalty. It's going to be Risa who's taking it from the spot against Oisak or something. Or Sizaki puts it into the net. And we do take a 3-2 win against my opponent's kind of sweat squad. I don't know why it didn't show the score there at the end. But you could have seen it in the top left-hand corner. And it's going to be Marsberg who is replaced again. Sorry if I did butcher his name. And in comes Jan Kirchhoff of Bayern Munich. Now he's going to be fantastic. I've used him in the past. He is so strong in defence and he will have to be against my coming opponents because they're going to get stronger. I'm going to play more teams like this. This BPL non-rare hybrid, that is fantastic and he's got Kone up front. All of you know I love Kone on this game. I loved him on FIFA 13. He was one of my favourite players as Malapa opens the score and who else? It's got to be Malapa. It's got to be Malapa. He scored so many times. I don't know how he didn't score that one by the way. The keeper wasn't even in the net and we do hit the post but it didn't take him long to get another goal. This time 
Prib going down the right hand side, completely bamboozling Inigo Martinez. He whips it in and it is another goal for Malapa with a header. That guy is so dominant in the air and on the ground as well, using that pace, using that power and he does nab his hat-trick just before half time. So we head into the second half, then my opponent does get a goal and I was thinking two matches ago my opponent scored, the momentum changed and he come back into the game but it didn't happen in this one. We take a 4-1 lead as Malapa smashes into the back of the net before my opponent who I do know of facing backwards did what I completely hate. He started scoring own goals. I don't see the point in it lads. Don't score own goals when you get bored or you're getting battered. Leave the game, play normally or just stop playing FIFA. I don't see the point in it. It annoys you, it annoys me, so just leave it. But anyways guys, I digress. It's up to you to replace that final cam spot. So you got the choice between Maya, who's just been upgraded to a silver, or Eddie. You choose. Comment in that section below. Smash that thumbs up. And as always guys, I will see you all next time.